Hi. John here. I'm just filming the west side of the east side of Maungatauteri Mountain. For our records. For the record, the British record, that this is the <coughs> mountain that belongs to the Paramount Chief Tira Waikato Whare Hire Hire Managa. Tira Waikato Whare Hire Hire Managa. Hard name to say, but this is the connection to Pohara Marae, down that way, I've just come from. I just want to make certain we're fixing this mountain to those people on that marae and the original people from that area and Punga Punga Hapu tribe. I want to plug this back to that Punga Punga Hapu to their mountain, to their history. That's why I want a meeting at that marae. I'm coming up here to try and get a better shot of the mountain that we're claiming through the British. I see the back end of Pohara Marae is down that end. Beautiful view, look. That's the north end. This is the east end. This is where the activity was on this side. The more this, oops, there's a private road. Notice, okay, we won't go any further. All right, they blocked this whole place off for their pakeas. So Maoris have no say. Okay, Maoris have no say. They're British titles, so they're tenants to the Te Rawaikato Whare Here Here Manukau. They are tenants. Okay, so that's the <coughs> Pohara Marae just down the hill here a bit, down, just down on, on the bottom here. So that's the mana of this whole land area, I'm saying, right across, as far as the eye can see, down towards Rotorua. <coughs> in the distance. I'm making these claims to this chief and the referee for Manukau to all these areas 360 degrees around this marae everywhere that I can see but this chief took the title of the whole of New Zealand. He took the title of the whole of New Zealand. I'm just coming here to claim this lot to this hui I'm going to have in this marae, Boara marae, native magistrate wood. It'll be the biggest single claim out on this marae. The biggest single claim out is on this marae. Okay, did you hear what I said? The people in the world watching? This chief and all these lands you can see in the background here and that marae back where I'm pointing and this mountain where I'm pointing that way <coughs> is the title <coughs> to this whole country, New Zealand <coughs> under King George IV and this Paramount Chief so I'll put the three Paramount Chiefs together the two Manukau's and Hori Takuri from Taheke when the British first came in at Rawani on Morris Lobo Baker land and all the other native chiefs of that time under that British title. So as much as you want to say about British, I'm sorry but I've got the title to settle up the accounts of the pretend government of New South Wales and New Zealand Crown Corporations, private companies. We have our own private companies, Maui Crown 
King William Force Trust and the Maui Crown Company Private. <coughs> and the Maui Moriori Manukau Trust. There. Those ones are creditors. And that's what I want to say about that mountain at the back. That mountain at the back. And all that valley, Cambridge is that way, we're going to Cambridge now. Cambridge, here to Cambridge, England. All these British people living in Cambridge, <coughs> we have a problem now with the Maoris. The Maoris are a tribe like ISIS to, to America. The Maori are an invention of the Crown Corporations of New Zealand and New South Wales Government. I'm sounding like a British Lord now. So we shall seize on their titles and put them back in the British title so that we can have order, complete order. Okay, we're on our main road again. Go left. Don't get lost, boy. Don't get lost, sonny boy. Okay, up we go. There's our mountain over there, once again. For the record, today, Waitangi Day, 6th of February 2018. I'm putting on record. For Britain, UK, that mountain, and its paramount chief of this whole area of Waikato in 1820 to 1830 period of that paramount chief Tira Waikato Ferry Erehere Malakao to one King George IV private contract of commercial land ownership title. Manukau was a commercial landowner. It makes me, as his executor, a commercial land title holder. Make sure you got the right road. Mangatotari. Oh, that's Mangatotari Road. Oh, that's the road. That's not the road we're going down. The mountain's on that side. Okay. Enough about mountains today. We're talking about law and order. So now. <clears throat> we wait for Tony Fortune to give us a letter to go to the private investigator, Graham Mallet. It's Scotland Yard, CIB, Britain, UK. Now in his private practice in New Zealand as a debt collector and private investigator to seize on the titles that I say are fraudulent and build them with a pound no. The Moai pound no. That's law. When it becomes authenticated, legalised and apostolised, it is already legal on the Marais, Todd Marais, as in native law, legal and authenticated. Sign and our own sovereignty. Not Maori, but Maui. Crown, corporation, trust. So, it's one or the other. You're in one ship or the other. A sinking ship or a borrowed ship. The ship happens to be ours on the treaty grounds. That is our ship that we're claiming belongs to this King George the Fourth contract and King William the Fourth contract with the Manukau. The two Manukau. Okay. 
So that's what I'm saying. I'm giving you a good view of the mountain, of all mountains in the world, of commerce. The king of commerce, king of the sea, and the king of the royal revenue and prized possessions. That is I. Such is I. Not a fool, but a creditor of a bank of proportionate means and jurisdiction. Power and authority of control and possession, repossession thereof, and sounding more like a lord, so shall it be. He who steals shall be hanged. Long live those who don't steal. The law says, thou shalt not steal, because if you do, you shall be hung under this king's orders. Not the chief's orders, because he hasn't got any orders like that. We use the king's orders to force the king's laws, because the chiefs have their own laws. They have spiritual laws. They also have reposition laws of their native land. But if you're good tenants, all your pakehas, you shall stay and behave yourselves, and you shall be well looked after. As long as you pay your British taxes, you'll be alright. Okay, mate? Well, that's how it works. In a king's bench, by my crown law, we are equals. In the name of the law, on the written bits of paper that ships commerce in great leaps and bounds, such as us and I. And we all together shall proclaim that mountain back to its original owners. I'll turn around and go back up that mountain. Turn around here. I'm going to go up that road and claim that mountain. I'm going to go up the road one more time. Once more round the block. Morris, maybe his car's getting a good wicker. It's doing a little spy. It's a good wagon for spy on such a nice day. It's doing a very good job. Okay, here we go. We're going to have a nice view of this mountain. So we can tell our kids and our kids' kids and our kids' kids who we are in this country, how we got here, who got here first, and who's going to stay here and who's going home. Right? These are leased lands to the British Crown, and there are some other humbug crowns in the middle. There we are. That's the north side of Maungatotari Mountain that belongs to one power chief. Tiga, like a tall, funny, hitty, hitty, manical. A Moriori chief of past years gone by in 1820 to 1830 period with King George IV who was riding around on his horse and telling his merry men to go and collect all his riches in the lands. Then the lands. Go seize and bring forth to the king, to the king, to the bank, to the king, to the Maui bank. So there we are people, I give you a good view of Maungatotari Mountain, the most prominent mountain in the world that made the British title on native lands in the world 
from this here mount. I'll just stop and take a photo, click the video, and well, what I'll do is I'll just go up to the end of the road, turn around and come back. So I can end the video here, this clip at least. Look at the day, beautiful. Sun high in the sky. And here we have private roads again. Okay, we'll back up and I'll take a photo shot. Yeah, yeah. I'll get out of here, take a photo. Turn this thing off. I need the engine done. I'll take a snapshot. So that's the mountain. There. Yeah. Morris's wagon. It's done extra good. Extra, extra good, beautiful bike. Go back to Auckland. For the night, but that's our mountain. And the Pohara Marae is just beyond on that side, on the south side, just beyond here, on the bottom face of that mountain. It goes down, Cambridge is up there, that's where I'm heading now. And Kehi Kehi is on the other side, and Karapiro is off that way. I'm going to miss Karapiro and go straight for Cambridge through there. Okay, so I'll turn this off and we'll spot you later. Today is my Tangy Day, the 6th of February 2018. Wish you a very good day on my trip from Palmerston North back to Auckland and up to Hokianga on Morris's new Okay, bye. See ya.